Tonight, transport sector said to be going to be living through its heydays. Has Bread Bank triggered a battle of the banks? And new Jitu estate housing slowly taking shape. Good evening, I'm Jackie Spate. It seems there is a best home loan rates battle between the major banks in Fiji. Just four days after the ANZ Bank announced a reduction, another prominent bank is also expected to reduce its home loan rates, as Mikolonga reports. The battle seems to have been triggered by this French-owned bread bank fixing an interest rate of 3.99% on its home loans. On Monday, ANZ announced a reduction in its home loans and residential investment property loans from 5.25% to 4.5%. This only applies to new loans of $50,000 and above and is available for new applications received before 28 February 2013. ANZ is also giving its qualified customers $1,500 for legal costs and is put a waiver on approval fees. Other banks and lending agencies currently charge between 4.99% and 8.68% depending on their home loan products. Their variable rates range between 6.95% and 9.25%. But this is not the last of it. Another prominent bank is expected to bring down its home loan rates in the coming days from its current 4.99% and 5.45%. The drop is expected to be quite competitive. A reply to our questions is yet to come through from the bank. Mikolona, FBC News. The transportation sector is thriving. That's the indication from the Transport Consultation Forum this morning. Although there are concerns of increased fuel costs and road fatalities, the transport sector's impact on the economy has been commended. Akusita Tale finds out how the industry is an indicator of economic growth. Transport contributes about 15% to our annual gross domestic product, a large chunk by any measure. It's also a significant employer in the country. So what is the actual state of this sector? Fiji accounting for around 8% of total paid employment. It's also a larger importer in terms of machinery and transport equipment and particularly oil, mineral fuels and uh, therefore demand in this sector has huge implications for our foreign reserves and also our balance of payments. Wangabatha says there's still room for the sector to grow. What's needed is infrastructure development to keep up with the needs of the industry. Creating better efficiencies which will ensure better quality and delivery uh, of uh, uh, services in this sector. This will in turn uh, create more demand uh, for goods and services and also investment uh, in the sector uh, which you know, will then boost uh, uh, economic growth. Lo Kuang is the chief executive of Singapore Transport International, says Fiji is perfectly suited for green eco-friendly vehicles. The uh, citizens' expectation of the transport system uh, is growing, uh, so we have to uh, this, uh, improve the transport system so that to meet the expectation of the uh, uh, citizens. This forum will come up with proposals for 2013. Some might take a few years to come to life. But Deputy Secretary for Transport Malakai Tandulala says the urgent issues will be fast-tracked. Akusita Tale, FBC News. More money is likely to be pumped into education when the 2013 budget is announced a week from tonight. Prime Minister Vorenge Mbaini Marama has hinted that they will continue to place emphasis on education and development for the people by training youth. He made this commitment during a Talano session with the people of Mburetu in Tailevu. Vosito Kotoi Wasawasa reports. One of the key issues brought up by the people during this Talano session was the lack of opportunities for youth after they leave school. Young men and women only make it up to Form 6, not because they are not smart enough, but because their parents can't afford the school fees and related costs. I will be making an announcement on the budget next week, but at the moment all I can confirm is that there has been an increase in budget for education. Part of the money will go towards assisting youths in their training in agriculture, also in engineering. This training will be done by FNU. Most of the young villagers end up jobless and dependent on family support. People in Buretu are also worried about soil erosion along the coast 
and the availability of farmland. The Prime Minister says if worse comes to worst, villagers have to consider relocating. <laughs> Talks on building sandbanks will not be the answer to coastal erosion. It will be a waste of time and resources as the water levels will continue to rise. I have put forward a suggestion of relocating villages. There are now plans to relocate some villages due to flooding. Villagers have been told to find a piece of land suitable to aquaculture. Once they have a fish pond ready, Fisheries Ministry will help kickstart the fish farm. Wasita Kote Wasawasa, FBC News.